Hello everyone, thanks so much for clicking on my video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a month long of manicure nail color polish changes. So basically I'm going to be doing the same design but in different colors without removing my nail polish. So I'm starting off with the Nail 8 base coat. I applied two coats. Now I'm going to be sponging in the Simple Colors Pink nail polish color uh, with a makeup sponge over the bottom area and I'll show you a little bit later on why I sponge it instead of applying it on. So I'm going in twice with the sponging of this pink color. Now the first V French I'm going to be painting on my nails is a white V French. So basically I just start in the corner and bring it up sideways at an angle and that pretty much does the trick and all I have to do here afterwards is clean the sides. What I do while the polish is still wet, I use an orange wood stick and I just clean out the sides. Super simple. Now I like the corners to be a little more defined so I go in with my thin nail art brush and I just make it a little pointier from the sides so that it's not too blunt. Now a second way to do this V French is using the nail art polish with a thin brush. Just bring it in the same way at an angle and just fill it in with the white nail polish. So it's just up to you to decide how you want to do this technique. You can see there's a pink tone in the bottom but not all the way down to the cuticle area which is going to help me um, as the nails grow for it not to show as much over the cuticle area. So I'm just going to do these nails. So the last step is going to be to apply a top coat of your choice. The one I'm using here is Sesh Feet because I wanted it to dry super fast. And then I just go in with a cotton swab and clean around my cuticle area and behind my fingers too because whenever I use the white nail polish, I don't know why but I get really dirty. So today's date is Thursday, April 30th and ex exactly one week I'll be coming back and I'll be changing the V French manicure to a different color. Today is Thursday, May 7th. Today is the 8th day since I began my manicure. You could see there that the nails still look nice and fresh uh, because of the top coat touch-ups I do during the week. So what I've decided to do, I decided to do each nail a different color now keeping the same V French. Um, I don't, I didn't know if I wanted to go dark or if I wanted to go light. I wanted to go both actually. So I've decided to first use light colors, each nail a different color. And then next week I'll do each nail um, a darker color. So I'm going to show you guys one by one the colors I chose. So the first color I'm going to be using is this lavender one. and It's a light lavender color by Kiss. And this one is called Sky Violet. So I'm going to be applying this one over my thumbnail. Alrighty, so there's the lavender nail polish. It's a really pale color. I really like it. So for my next color, which is going to be my pointer finger, I'm going to be adding this pink nail polish, this light pink nail polish, which is very similar to the bottom area, but we'll see how that goes. This one is by Sally Hansen, and it's called Heart of Stone. So there's the pointer finger nail. Next, the color I chose for my middle finger nail is this one by Simple Colors and this one's called Unicorn. Now the color I chose for my ring finger nail is this light green one by Santi and this one's called Bikini Green. Now for the third color I decided on this light blue wet and wild nail polish color and this one's called Putting On Airs. So there are my fingernails, one with each a different color. I absolutely loved this idea and I love that I'm starting off with the light colors. I really like this. So now it's time to add top coat. The top coat I'm going to be adding is this one by Mia Secret.
There are my fingernails uh, ready for the week to come. So I'm gonna be having these nails with these amazing colors for the following week. So next week I'll be using the darker colors. It's been five days since I changed my V French manicure color. And if you guys can see over the cuticle area, you could see the growth there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a cotton swab with some polish remover and I'm just going to clean out the cuticle area and then just apply a top coat over my entire fingernail. It's the reason why I sponged the pink over the lower part of the, of the fingernail instead of brushing it on because I knew I was going to have to clean out the cuticle area uh, so that the manicure could look fresh and the only way um, that you won't be able to see a defining line once I clean out that cuticle area was if I sponged the color. So that's the reason why I sponged it. So I'm going to put a little bit of polish remover on the cap and get started. So I'm just going to put a little bit of polish remover on the cap. Now I'm just going to take the cotton swab. So as you can see there, I'm just removing over the cuticle area, the nail polish, top coat, only over that area. And you can't see a defined line where I removed it uh, because of the sponging, because it was applied with a sponge. If I would have applied um, the bottom color or the pink color with a brush, you definitely would have been able to see the, divi the division between the, the pink color and the color of the skin. But because it was sponged on, it's a, an amazing trick I learned, especially when I wanna keep my French manicure for a long time. It really works out well. So I'm just doing that. And there you have it. Here's the thumbnail one that really needs a cleaning. So once you're done with all of your fingernails, if you decided to do this technique, which I do recommend it if you're planning to keep your manicure longer and you have a French manicure, um, it's time to wash your hands after you've done this to all your fingernails. All right, so there are my fingernails. I already removed uh, the cuticle area growth. So I'm gonna wash my hands really It's well. been 12 days since I began this manicure. I started off with the um, white V French and now I changed it to the colorful nails and because I've had it on already for 12 days the top coats are pretty thick on my nails and I don't want them to become too much thicker because I'm planning to have it on this manicure two more weeks so I decided to apply a thin coat or a, a top coat that goes on thin the one I'm going to be using is this one right here by Nail Aid so I'm simply going to apply it like I would regularly apply it over my entire fingernail the only difference is that now the cuticle area is going to look nice and fresh. It feels so good to freshen up my nails. I love it when I, when I do this, when I uh, go through this process where I use the sponging technique over the bottom because I can keep my manicure, it could keep going and going as long as I could keep it. And it will continue looking fresh because of the sponging technique. Alrighty, so there are my nails all freshened up and ready for the following days. Today is May 14th and I've hit the middle mark with my fingernails. So I've had this manicure two weeks and it's time to change the color. So that's what I'm going to be doing. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to re-sponge again the pink area over the bottom area before I change the V French color. So the color I'm going to be using again is the same exact one by Sinful Colors called Beautiful Girl along with the makeup sponge. So I'm basically just doing this to freshen up the look of the fingernail. So I'm just going to be overlapping on top of some of that B French because I'm just going to be going on top of it with some color right now anyways. This also helps if there was bubbling, which I don't know if you could see there, but this nail got a little bit of bubbling. So by 
refreshing up the bottom part, those bubbles will be covered. And also because I cleaned the cuticle area, it'll make a big difference. It'll help a lot. It'll, like I said, just freshen everything up. Alrighty, so all my nails are sponged. I'm going to start with the pinky fingernail. So you can see here I had it light blue. Now it's going to be dark blue. The color I'm going to be using is this one by Pure Ice and it's called French Kiss. Alright, now for the green color, I chose this one by Icing and it's called Grooving Green. Now for the darker tone yellow nail polish, I chose this one by Pure Eyes, and this one's called Showstopper. Now for my pink, I chose this one by LA Colors called Absolute. Oh, this is a really nice pink one. Really, really nice. I like that. Now for the last color, even though it looks a little bit blue there, but it's actually a really dark purple color, I chose this one by Pure Ice and it's called Last Chance. Now for the top coat, I'm going to be applying one that goes on super thin. It's this one by Nail Laid because the nails already have enough layers of protection. I just need to seal in, seal in the colors. So here's my fingernails after applying my top coat. I think you could see a little bit better that this is purple in the thumbnails. And then we have the pink, the yellow, the green, and the blue. So I think it's fun. This is really fun. It's going to have to grow on me a little bit more because I got used to having the light colors. But this is, I like it. So um, I'm going to be keeping this manicure for the following week. Here are my fingernails after another week's gone by. And what I'm going to be doing today is changing the color from my French tips one last time. And I'm going to be going with a black color. This one is by Nail Fetish. So let me show you today's date. So today's date is Thursday, May 21. So you can see a whole week has gone by. So let's get started with the new changing of the V French manicure. So I'm just basically going to do what I've been doing every single week when I change my V French. Just filling in with the different color I choose. Alrighty, so it's just time for me to change this hand into the black tips and that'll be it. I'll be finishing up with this four week long of manicure changes. So that completes my four weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and give these different nail designs a try. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.